Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based greenhouse monitoring system. In this project, we are using two relays and Arduino Uno board, DC double one sensor, LCD display, DC motor and transistor board, LDR, and also here we are using ESP32 and also we can call as a Wi Fi model. And also here we can see soil moisture sensor and this one is a soil moisture sensor amplifier and here we can see AC motor and AC power supply through this bridge rectifier and also here we can see the light also and it is, it is a AC load so in this project we are using we are providing the power supply through this cable it takes 230 volts of AC and it will be give parallelly to this motor and also this bridge rectifier and bridge rectifier takes 230 volts of AC and it will be give output of 5 volts of DC that 5 volt of DC will be given to this track PCB so here we can see the track PCB so main aim of this track PCB is to divide a equal power to the all components like DC double one Arduino you know relays motor and a LCD display so it will be divide all, all equal power to this all components so let will see the demonstration So now the power supply is on and we can see the system is in on position. So first of all we need to do in our phone. We need to go for the hotspot settings. So here we can see hotspot settings. So here we can see. So the hotspot name should be Project 64. A2 without any capital letter and password should be 1 to 9. Then only this Wi Fi model will be connected to our mobile network. After that, here we can see one device is connected. So here we can see the device name also. After that, we have to go. After that, here we can see network analyzer. We have to go for that network analyzer app. So the this app interface like this. So we have to go for these three lines and have to choose LAN scan. LAN scan means local area network scan. So we have to scan again. So here we can see express it is showing the IP address we have to copy this copy this address address so we have to copy this one now we have copied and after that we have to go here we can see juice SSH app so if we want to connect this one so the app interface like this we have to go for the manage connections and have to add a connection after that here we can see this asking type so type by default it will be selected by ssh ssh we have to edit that one to the tail net after that so here here it is asking address so we copied that address we have to paste here after that we have here we can see the port for the port we have to press 8080 now it is connected so go through this IP address so here we can see it is showing in this app moisture lever 
and temperature light level and temperature value and humidity value in this way we can see values through this app wirelessly so now if i take this soil moisture sensor and dip into the water then this motor will be automatically off so now this motor is in on position here we can see also light indication so now here i am pressing and here we can see the soil moisture sensor light so now light is in light is off and motor will be off automatically when this soil moisture sensor detects water then it will give a signal to this arduino uno then it will give a signal to this transistor board relay so the re this relay will receive a signal then automatically switch off this motor supply and also if you want to on this motor on this light we need to do so here we can see the earlier also so if this earlier detects any dark light or dark so then automatically this will be on so now here we can see now it is in dark position if any light detects then automatically this it will be off and also here we can see temperature values temperature values humidity values and light level and moisture level so this this will be this fan will be rotated when humidity or temperature is high and also this fan will be rotated when the temperature is more than 40 so there is no any device to give a input to, for this sensor that's why we are not showing this one so in this way this project will be works thanks for the watching